Ladies and gentlemen, this Red Gaming Tetacom video, we're going to be discussing recent rumors regarding the fact that Xbox One has a discrete GPU core hidden within the sock. Now, we're not going to be spending a ridiculous amount of time doing analysis on this because, to be honest with you, this is rumors. The only reason I'm covering this right now is because several people have asked me to do so. Um, so I'm going to really quickly go into this. I haven't had huge amounts of time to research this one today because I've been really busy. So you guys could do your own research on this if you choose to. I probably will in the next couple of days, but you'll understand why in a moment. So the idea is that deep within the Xbox One's uh, sock, there is what is known as a Volcanic Islands discrete GPU. Now, if you're not familiar with what Volcanic Islands is, it's the next generation of Radeon graphics cards. Now, we're not talking about the next generation that we're seeing in the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 currently. No, we are talking next generation. This generation, the one that's in the PlayStation 4, for example, is the Radeon 7000 series. It's very similar to, say, the desktops that's available now, the desktop GPUs like the Radeon 7790 or the, say, 7970, right? done a lot of those comparisons before the idea is that the volcanic islands is the generation after that so in other words it's like more more efficient more powerful blah 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 has more features and so the rumor is that there are 2048 stream processors in this thing and if you do the math on that based on um, an 850 megahertz clock speed that gets you about 3.5 teflops of computing power and the reason that apparently this can happen it's because the xbox one's apu um, is using what is known as a wafer to wafer design the first top player is basically just think of them as stacked wafers or stacked chips if you prefer easiest way to explain it the first is the traditional uh APU Jaguar that we all know about, AMD Jaguar cores, which of course x86-64 CPU, and of course the 12 GCN cores, DX11, blah blah blah. Uh, the next, the bottom layer, is 32 megabytes of ES RAM. We know about that, that's the cache type of thing that of course has been heavily discussed. But then there's the middle layer, and the middle layer apparently is a Volcanic Islands discrete GPU and it actually has eight, uh, sorry, eight, two, I'll repeat that one more time, two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory available to it. Uh, that's a possibility and this apparently has been unveiled by an insider. Now, these rumors are floating about the internet quite a bit recently. Um, and a couple of viewers have pointed it out to me. I say a couple, about three or four have actually messaged me this right now. So that's that's the only reason I'm really doing this, because people have been asking, what do I think? Do I think it's possible? The answer is, unfortunately, and I use the word unfortunately because I can't give you a definitive answer. There's a couple of reasons for this. One, I haven't had huge amounts of time to do the research on it, and I won't today, unfortunately. Um... That's just how it is, I'm afraid. Sometimes, you know, I just can't. And I wasn't going to do the video, but so many of you have stalked me about it. And I don't mean that in a nasty way, of course. I just mean that, you know, you guys are on the ball and you, you know, wanted me to put it out. And normally when I do these type of videos, I actually spend a lot of time doing, you know, research on other examples of this. So you guys can do further uh, research, but I haven't had time today. So I can only apologize. But people have been asking, do I think it's true? Um, or could it be true, even? You know, is it even in the realms of mystical possibilities? Well, here's the thing. It's possible. And I know that's not particularly a great answer, but here's the reason why I say it's possible. Firstly, um, you may remember various interviews from Microsoft and VentureBeat, for example. VentureBeat actually said the following. Microsoft disclosed some details but left out many important pieces. Evidently, Microsoft doesn't want to tell all of its competitors about how well designed the system actually really is. End quote. That doesn't really answer that much stuff. There's a few others as well. Apparently, the Xbox One's GP uh, SOC is 363mm2. 
and this is a 28nm process by the way um, but there are other rumors that are stating it's actually larger than this the reality is it's bigger and a couple of rumors are pointing out to be 522 uh, mm another little point I'd like to make is that we don't know all the specifications of the Xbox One right now. We can't look under the hood. No one has opened up a system without the supervision of Microsoft. Everyone is still under NDAs. But here's the reasons that it could not be true, and there's several of them. One, heat and power. Some people are stating because it's volcanic islands, the power and heat are going to be less of an issue anyway, especially as it's not being run at proper desktop speeds. Also, they're stating that, of course, the APU design is naturally low power anyway. Um, so there's that possibility. Another point of view is why have Microsoft said anything about this? Now, I know volcanic islands is under NDA, so Microsoft probably have been told you can't say anything, but why haven't they just said, well, we've got another GPU in, but we can't talk about it yet. This GPU, the one that's currently in, will be used for, you know, just for example, compute, and the discrete GPU that we can't talk about yet is being used for other stuff. It's possible. You know, they could say something like that. I don't know what the what their NDA situation is like. There are other issues as well that don't really make sense. Um, I'm not exactly sure how the hell they could put in 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM. It's possible that that could go somewhere on the board that we're not familiar with. I don't really see how it could be fit onto the GPU itself, or sorry, onto the APU itself, but then I'm not 100% familiar with the design because we don't really have internal photos to even show us how the hell the layout can be put together. There are other issues as well that I'm sure many of you can immediately be saying is screaming at me, so I'm not going to go into super details on this. I'm just putting it out because people have asked me to do the the video. Uh, my Facebook has literally blown up on this one. Uh, so yeah, I personally am going to take this with a massive pinch of salt. I say that because I've had much more... Uh, firm sounding rumors, rumors with a lot more meat behind them that have to turned out to be not true. One point I would make, however, before I sign off, is that strangely enough, the Durango, which of course was the code name for the Xbox One, well before it was known as the Xbox One, and by the way guys, completely as a bonus piece of information, remember how Xbox Infinity was a co was a, a like running name that they were using for a while and everyone thought it's going to be known as Xbox Infinity but it wasn't confirmed by Microsoft actually Xbox Infinity was one of the names and it actually was originally going to be called Xbox Infinity until the Xbox One won the uh, well naming war personally I think Xbox Infinity sounds a hell of a lot cooler but there you have it regardless Back when it was known as Durango, I don't remember the exact time period ago, you guys can Google this, um, there was rumours that the Xbox One slash Durango slash whatever the hell you want to call it, was actually going to originally be using a dual GPU design and then they didn't go with it and they went with, a, of course, the GCN cores. So I don't know, if that means absolutely anything, I would probably guess no. Um, so there you have it. I'm not saying it's not true because I don't have Well, I don't have this all the schematics for the Xbox one simple as that I'm saying I don't think it's true because I think it would be ridiculously expensive to produce I think it would be I think Microsoft would be coming quite out of pocket for this if they was true um, and also I think they would have said something before uh, and also I think that something would have leaked before now that's just my personal opinions on this um based on the little bit of research i've done you guys can do more on this if you so wish i will be doing some most likely when volcanic islands is unveiled which will be soon anyway uh so yeah hopefully you've found the video at least head scratch worthy i don't really know uh how the hell this rumor actually came about well i do know uh how it came about but i don't really know um what the heck to say because I'm pretty damn sure it's not true. The power um, usage and so on, as far as what we understand, as far as what has been leaked, it doesn't seem to fit into the profile of this. But since we don't have all the information, since some of the details have been unve not unveiled to us, I can't definitively say it's not true. And those are the best rumors, unfortunately. Anyway, uh, as I said, 
I'm just putting the video out there because people have asked me to do it. I don't think it's true, but you guys can do your own research on it. Anyway, take care. Bye for now.